Bill Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything is a bold and interesting look at the wonders of nature and the interesting people who tried to understand it. This well-known science book is a trip through time and space that tries to explain the world, our planet, and ourselves. The main character in this story is not a single person, but scientific interest as a whole. The characters in Bryson's story are the many scientists, explorers, and thinkers who have spent their lives trying to figure out the world's secrets. Bryson brings to life famous people like Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton, as well as less well-known but still important people like Henrietta Swan Leavitt and Claire Patterson, by telling interesting and often funny stories about them. A short history of nearly everything doesn't have a traditional plot. Instead, it takes the reader through a number of ideas and scientific fields, each one more interesting than the last. Bryson writes about astronomy, geology, chemistry, quantum physics, paleontology, and everything in between, always with an eye for what is amazing and funny. There are a lot of different topics covered, but Bryson's skill at making complicated ideas easy to understand and his contagious energy make the trip both educational and fun. The book starts with how the universe came to be, talking about the Big Bang and how big the sky is. Then it focuses on our solar system, going into detail about how it came to be and what makes Earth a unique place for life. The journey goes through the violent history of our planet, its geology, weather, and the species that have lived on it. Then, Bryson takes the reader on a tour of the very small, diving into the world of atoms and particles to explain what matter is and how strange quantum physics is. The story comes full circle when it gets back to the size of a person and looks at our evolution, DNA, and the strange truth about our awareness. Throughout this trip, Bryson talks a lot about how lucky we are and how fragile our lives are. The stable conditions on our world, the right mix of elements for life, and the unlikely development of intelligent beings are all the result of a cosmic lottery that is nothing short of miraculous. Along with this story of finding, there are also stories of science's amazing adventures, rivalries, and often accidental breakthroughs. Bryson shows the human side of science discovery, from the small fights that kept dinosaur fossils from being found to the decades of hard work that led to the discovery of the structure of DNA. Even though science has come a long way, one idea that keeps coming up in the book is how much we still don't know. We don't know a lot about the world, our planet, and ourselves. But instead of making me feel down, this understanding makes me feel more motivated. It's a call to keep looking around, finding new things, and being amazed by how complicated the world is. A Short History of Almost Everything is, at its heart, a love letter to science and an ode to the curious nature of people. It's a call to look at the world around us with wonder and interest, to understand how unlikely it is that we exist, and to enjoy the process of finding out new things. To sum up, Bryson's A Short History of Nearly Everything is a fascinating look at our world and the rest of the universe. It shows the excitement of science discoveries and the strange people who made them. It's a sign of how powerful curiosity is, a celebration of how amazing life is, and a constant reminder of how much more there is to find out. This book is a great trove of interesting things that are all written in Bryson's easy-to-understand, interesting style. It's a trip through time, space, and the amazing complexity of life, and it reminds us that science is, at its core, the story of us and our place in the world.